this tutorial I'll be going through with you Verizon stock um, if you just type in Google you will see Verizon communication Inc that's the name and you can see the stock symbol if I buy the stock right now I have to pay 57.21 US dollars uh, the market cap is in billions it's a big size firm and the dividend yield is 4.21 percent um, if I just want to say that companies that pay dividend that means they are financially very strong because after paying their costs, liabilities, their creditors, they still have extra money left. That extra money they pay to shareholders as dividends. So if a company is able to pay dividend, that means they are strong financially. They have a lot of extra money. So it's a positive sign. Now I'm not, I want to see when was this founded. You can see it's 1983, but just go to Wikipedia and you just find this box. And you can see founded 1983, 35 years ago. And then... I just want to copy this part straight from Google, this name straight from Google, and I will just paste it here. Type in Indeed reviews. I want to see the reviews from Indeed. What the employees have to say about it? I can see twenty four thousand three hundred reviews, and it's three point nine star, nearly four stars. And uh, you can see the pros and cons as well. And uh, now I want to paste here and see the reviews in Glassdoor. And you can see the reviews in Glassdoor and um, you can see 3,300 reviews and it's 3.6 star and you can just go through the reviews yourself as well and then just go to Justia patents and um, I just want to see the patents and um, of this firm just search it there and I can see that um, I'll just have a look at that that Verizon, yes, Communication Inc. That's the one because there are other people assigning as well who own the right. So you can see that I'm not interested in inventors, I'm only interested in assignee or applicant. Inventors are people who invented it, but they don't have full rights. I'm only interested in assignee or applicants because these have full rights. You can see Verizon Communication Inc. and you can see in 2005 they have a patent, you can see in 2007 they have a patent. 2001 they have a patent 2007 they have a patent 2005 they have a patent and stuff like that you can see you can just go through the list yourself and see that um, if they have any recent patents in 15 16 17 18 or you know so on and you can just go through the list yourself and that's brilliant now I'm gonna go to Yahoo Finance and I will see if the who the key executives are and what salaries they're getting so let's have a look so there are a lot of um, companies with the same uh, name so i want to match with the symbol so the symbol we're looking at is vz okay so match it with the symbol and um, go to profile and let's have a look at that and you can see the sector industry employees and you can see that there are five executives and all of their salaries have been shown that means that it's very transparent we are able to build trust with them because they haven't hidden anything from us in, a, in particular and we have a lot of a lot of information from them now lastly i want to go to macro trend and uh, just go to price ratio price book ratio and just paste in the symbol vz verizon and uh, now I want to tell you it takes some time to load it on this website but sometimes it loads quickly I'll show you what that means price book ratio if it's less than one that means stock is undervalued it's at discount and it's a sale so you must buy that time if it's one that means that the stock is uh, you know of its real worth it's not expensive at least but it's of real worth so it's good to buy that time if it's more than one that means stock is expensive the higher the number goes the more expensive it gets right now right now it's 4.06 it means the stock is four times more expensive right now so um but in 2015 it's 15.33 which means the stock is 15 times more expensive people who bought that time they paid 40 dollar to, to buy something that was two dollar worth so they paid a lot of money 15 times more they paid 40 dollar to buy something that was only two dollars worth which was very expensive but it was very cheap in 2008 December it was at a discount because people who bought that time they paid $19 to buy something that was only $27 worth so you need to be careful about that but right now it's $4 uh, four times more expensive so it's a lot cheaper than um, from 2014 15 16 17 18 and it's a lot cheaper but still it's 
good times more expensive so you need to make sure what you're buying now go to other ratios and go to current ratio in current ratio if the stock is less than one that means stock is very risky if it's 1.5 or more than that that means stock is very safe it has a good mar good margin of safety so let it load and then we'll, we'll have a look So right now, I just want to point out that um, right now, uh, it is, um, if I just have a look, I'm looking for 1.5 or more than that for it to be safe. Right now, it's less than 1. It's very dangerous because if you just see vertically up, you can see liabilities are more than assets. So it's a dangerous stock. So let's look previously. Yes, it has been, it's consistently a dangerous stock because liabilities has been a lot more than assets consistently since it's formed. Since the data we have since 2005 up till now, it's a very dangerous stock. Now let's look at debt equity. We are looking at 0.5 or less than that. In this um, area, uh, debt equity tells us that if the firm is mainly operating on debt or equity. So we are looking for a ratio of 0.5 or less than that for it to be very good. Let's have a look. So I can see that I'm looking for I'm looking for 0.5 or less than that. Right now it's a lot more than 0.5, so it's a dangerous stock. Let's look previously as well. That it has it ever been below 0.5? So no. So since we have data since 2005 up till now, it's never been below 0.5, so it's a very dangerous stock. And um, so let's look at your channel equity. We are looking at 8% or more than that for it to be ideal.
Okay, so we are looking at 8% more than that. It is more than 8%. That's brilliant. Let's look at the previous one as well. And um, I can see that it has been below 8% since 2013 up till now, six years, it has always been above 8%. So since recent six years, it has been above 8%, which is brilliant.